I'm back. I'm back. Yep, I'm back. I'm back as a good guy. I'm back doing what I do. I'm back. I'm just back. Simply put, I'm just freaking back. Didn't expect me to be back. Did not expect me to be back. But, but, I am back. Yep, back to normal. Back to my usual state of mind. Back to putting horse boots to asses. Back to just everything that I was before. Back to back to being a good guy. Yep. Cause yeah, sure, being a bad guy gets you what you want, but it's not the right way to do things. It doesn't, you know, it's not it's just, it's just everything is bittersweet. All the victories that I've had as a bad guy are just bittersweet. And I'm like, I do not like that at all. No. I don't. I really don't. And, um, you know, I, the main thing is, is that I want to thank everybody for um, helping me out, supporting me, and everything like that. Between my Facebook, my YouTube, and Twitter, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for your support, for helping me out through all of this. I want to thank every last one of you that helped me. Thank you so much. Um, yes, my stomach is growling because I'm hungry. But, uh, yeah, I want to thank every last one of you. Um, and more importantly, uh, I want to thank, uh, you know, of course, my boys that helped me out through all of this, um, you know, friends, close friends and family of mine. I want to thank all of you guys um, because 2016 has been a real shit year. It's been a real shit year. Yep. From losing job to, uh, what you call it, to moving out of New York, all that type of shit. Every fucking thing. But for one thing, for one thing I will say is that, you know, to the people that actually still have beef with me, you can still just bring it. I am not going anywhere. Yes, like I said before, and I said it again, you know where to fucking find me. So, that's on you if you want to try that shit. I'm just saying. So, like I said, I want to thank everybody else um, that's helped me through all of this shit. Um, but for the most part, that one person that I still have that issue with, you know... You can damn sure tell that I have a good heart because I'm like, I knew I shouldn't have trusted your ass from the beginning. I really knew that shit. I'm like, you know, I just should not trust this motherfucker. But I'm like, fuck it because I'm a nice person and I believe in second chances. And I'm like, I'm just, I don't, I'm not like everybody else that you meet. And I'm like, I wanted to actually see if you actually did change. Fortunately, you didn't. So, now we're at this part, this part of the problem. And it's not your fault, it's my fault. The reason why I say it's my fault is because I shouldn't have trusted you from the beginning, but I did, and that was the problem. I should have never trusted you from the beginning, but I did. That was the only problem. I'm like, had I not trusted you, things would have been smooth sailing. Like, things would have been much better Actually, things was already better before you came into the picture anyway. Because I'm like, you, and then the person from my deep past had to resurface in some weird way, shape, or form. Ew. But had to resurface. And it's like, you know, to even trust you is unheard of but especially now but it's like surprisingly enough I did and I'm like I'm gonna give this guy a chance because it's like you know he says he's changed shit like that shouldn't have believed your ass because you know you was a bullshitter from the get go I don't know how the fuck everybody believes you you put on that front like you know oh yeah well I didn't do anything you just stand and just I didn't do anything. I see right through you, boy. I see right fucking through you. You are not slick for shit. Everybody else may believe you, but I'm not believing you for shit. I never did. Even when they first freaking met, I never did. But yeah. So, to that one person, you already know who you are. And, um, you know. You ain't shit. Simply put, you just ain't shit. You ain't shit in general. So, yeah. 
I mean, of course, you know, uh, it's pretty much it. You just ain't shit. It's plain and simple, simply put. I'm like, yeah, you know, I've gotten, um, ever since that shit that you started, I've gotten everything back again. And everything is like coming back to being better. Actually, I'm actually landing on top better than what I used to be before. So I can actually thank you for something like that. I can thank you for that. I'm actually coming out stronger than I've done before. And I've always, I'm like a freaking Saiyan. I'm like, I'm always coming out stronger than I was last every time when I get defeated. But here's the thing. Not only am I getting shit back, but I'm making shit stronger now. I'm making, uh, uh, it's a lot of things stronger. It's myself, uh, people around me, shit like that. Making all that shit happen. It's like I've created this whole, I don't know, burst of energy. And it's like, you know, it's insane. But it's like, it's thanks to you that that shit happened. So yeah, in a way, I can thank you. But fuck you at the same damn time, though. No fuck out of here so yeah pretty much rebuilding everything I'm rebuilding everything you know things are starting to swing back my way and trust you me trust you me <laughs> yep trust you me when I say as ASAP not even ASAP actually give it a little bit of time but it's like, for that certain thing that you want, time's up. Because here's the thing that you don't understand, Jack, okay? I got goals that I'm trying to complete right now as we speak. And there is no way in hell that you or anybody else that you got can stop me from making those goals happen. One of which is meeting the rock. Yeah, I went there. One of which is meeting the rock. And let me tell you, that shit is gonna happen. Believe me, that shit's gonna happen. You think not? That shit's gonna happen. And yeah, yeah, you know, sure. I'm a huge fan of the rock. You already know that. You all know that. I'm a huge fan of the rock. And I'm like, that man, the reason why I am is because that man and he pretty much was in my childhood because this dude, the pop on wrestling, the first wrestler I've ever seen was The Rock when he first came in as Rocky Maivia. The very first time I ever saw it, which was live in uh, 1996, I think it was, where he came in, the first his first debut. And um, yeah, like uh, after that, I was like, that is my all time favorite wrestler. So yeah. One of which of those goals is meeting The Rock and working with The Rock. So yeah, so you or your little toy soldiers can get mad. Yeah, go ahead, get mad. Yeah, because I do, yes, I do my Rock impersonations. Fuck you and your opinion, by the way, if you, you, know, if you feel a certain type of way because I do them. I don't give a shit. That's pretty much like 40% of me is doing that because it's why I do everything that I love to do and yeah personating the great one is one of them so you got a problem with that go fuck yourself because simply put simply put the rock says that there is no damn way and the rock means no way that the rock is going to stop impersonating his damn self so yeah So yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right, that is right, I got goals that I want to complete, and there ain't a damn thing, come hell or high water, I will complete those goals. So yeah, so until then, you are still, and always and forever, going to be dealing with the most electrifying man in all of New York City Transit on the most electrifying train in all of New York City Transit. The People's Train. The Badass of Broadway. The R! 30!
party to enjoy.